Orais. Your Honor, with all due respect, I wish to say... Excuse me, who are you? Your Honor, Mr. Makori, the counsel for the defendant, the Honorable Harrison Matata. I will only say this once. Any unauthorized speeches in my courtroom will be held as contempt. Any outbursts or remarks will not be allowed. Now, do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Your Honor. You may sit down. Now, this is how we are going to proceed. Each side will present its case. The other side will get an opportunity to respond. If there are any witnesses, they will be called and cross-examined. Any evidence will be allowed. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Honor. Good. Opening statements. Yeah, Your Honor, we are seeking orders to bar the defendants from developing a quarry near Makutano Primary School. We shall endeavor to show the dangers the proposed project is going to pose to the residents of Makutano and to the environment. We shall therefore ask that this project cease immediately. Thank you. My lords, my client is a well-known businessman whose rights to the use of his own property as enshrined in the Constitution has been interfered with. We are going to show that this is nothing but political malice. The prosecution may proceed. We wish to call Tendo Maduro to the stand. Please tell us your name and occupation. Pendo Anastasia Madulo. I'm the headmistress of Makutano Primary School. But why do you want the quarry stopped? Well, as a school headmistress, it's my duty to ensure that my students have a safe and clean environment to play and study in. Mm -hmm. Now, this quarry is being built too close to the school, and the dust will become a health hazard to both the students and the teachers. Mm -hmm. And the blasting at the quarry might cause tremors, which in turn might affect the structural strength of the school buildings. But is that all? Well, Makutano might lose one of its main water catchment areas, and this might cause a problem to both farming and other small businesses. Thank you. You don't hold any elective position in Makutano, do you? No. So the Makutano community did not appoint or elect you to bring up this case on their behalf, did they? No. Are you an engineer, doctor? No. So all these concerns that you have are actually just based on your own opinion? Yes, but I... Ms. Madulo, you do care about your students, right? Of course. So is it out of guilt or genuine concern that you're here today? I don't understand. In the year 2005, a student drowned and died in a pool under your care. Is that correct? Yes. So perhaps this clean and safe environment that you're seeking is just but a, a way to clean up your conscience? I have nothing further. Ms. Baraka, until recently you were the chief of Makutano, is that correct? Correct. And you quit that position to vie for the parliamentary seat? I did. And since my client, Mr. Harrison, is also vying for the same seat, uh, that makes him your political opponent, is that right? Yes, but I, I don't see... So would it be correct to say then that uh, you're out to settle political scores? No, it wouldn't. Order. Order? And someone tell whoever is making that hideous noise to stop. Miss Baraka, the only reason you are here today is in the hope of gaining more votes for your own political ambitions. Is that correct? No, not, not at all. And that you'd rather see people go unemployed and lose this valuable development plan than you admit that you're here for selfish plans of advancing your own political objection, career. Objection, your honor. Then why would the former chief endorse this development plan if indeed it was against the wishes of the community? I, I don't know. I do have a copy of a document stating the prior chief's full commitment and support of this project. I hand this in as evidence. What do you do? I am a consulting environmentalist and a former senior officer at the National Environmental Management Authority. Neymar. In other words, you are an environmentalist, right? Yes. But 
What do you do exactly, doctor? I carry out research mm -hmm. on environmental issues, mm -hmm. especially those concerning the impact of the development of projects. Now, the defense in this application did make available an environmental impact assessment report prepared by the Institute for Ecology and Natural Resources Development. In your professional opinion, what do you think is wrong with this report, doctor? The report does not fully address the likely negative impact the query will cause on the environment of Makutano. Elaborate, please. A good EIA report mm -hmm. must clearly state all the likely impact of the proposed project mm -hmm. on the environment, both negative mm -hmm. and positive. This report tells us about the benefits mm -hmm that a query would bring to the people of Makutano mm -hmm. and fails to explore the negative impact. Thank you. How many children have you treated as a result of injuries sustained whilst playing around the quarry site, doctor? Four from Makutano Primary, who I believe were hurt in the holes that had been dug to erect a fence around the quarry. And in your medical opinion, do you support this project? No, it's too close to the school. And apart from accidents such as this, mm -hmm. The dust can cause ailments that can affect the wider community and not only the school children. Thank you. Dr. Charles, mm. have you handled other cases involving children, say, who have fallen off bicycles? Yes. Have you tried to stop the manufacture of bicycles? Answer my question, Dr. Have you tried to stop the manufacture of bicycles? Yes or no? No. Thank you, Dr. That will be all. Your Honor, we rest our case. Does the defense have any witnesses? Yes, my lord. We call Kariz Mabuki. Mr. Kariz, why do you support this project? I'm a businessman, and I believe the quarry will create jobs and improve the local economy. Do you think it's fair for Mr. Matata here to be stopped from using his own land? No. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mabuki, is there any evidence that the people who benefit from employment will come from this area? No. Is there any evidence, therefore, that the tendering and sourcing of supplies will therefore be dedicated to Makutano businesses? No. So then what you're telling me, Mr. Mabuki, is that your support for this project is therefore speculative, isn't that right? Yes. But I have a daughter, and I'm thinking of her future and the future of this village when I support the quarry. I bought this land some 10 years ago. As part of the environmental impact assessment, I published my intention on that land for querying activities, and no one raised any concern. Your Honor, I've spent millions to get that project off, and I've followed all the correct procedures. And the applicants say that they did know about these applications. Ignorance is no defense, and I should not be blamed for their oversight. Thank you, witness. Honorable Matata. Your environmental impact assessment report was prepared by the Institute for Ecology and Natural Resource Development, isn't that right? Yes. And do you sit on that board? Um, um, Louder, please. Do you sit on that board, Honorable Matata? Yes. And did you or did you not contribute 500,000 shillings to this board at the exact time that your report was being worked on? I donate money to a lot of organizations. But know. why didn't you tell this tribunal about it? Why did you not mention the fact that you sit on the board? Is it because you thought it was going to be a conflict of interest? Or that the money that you gave would look like a bribe? Is that why, Bonamatata? Objection, Your Honor. We have nothing further, Your Honor. We will adjourn for two hours, then we will convene for our ruling. It will take long, but just moved quite fast. I'll be back in the office by tomorrow. I'll call you when you finish. OK, bye. Now, you know we cannot talk before the verdict is out. Do excuse me. Please, this will only take a minute. You know how this project means to me? If you are to help me out, I'll make you worth your while. Oh, really? Yes. It's 200,000 for your trouble. I do understand. Thank you. We have heard the presentations from both sides, and here is our ruling. We, the tribunal, wish to congratulate Mr. Harrison Matata for his noble idea and genuine concern to the youth of this area trying to create job opportunities and thus improve their welfare. This is a worthy cause. However, this tribunal must look at the advantages of this development and balance those against the impact it will have on the environment and the people of Makutano. 
based on the evidence given today and an independent EI assessment carried out on the proposed development site, we have to rule in favor of the applicant and we hereby order the Makutano quarry be stopped immediately. You cannot do this to me. Sit down, Mr. Matata. I can do this. Not only have you chosen to ignore the negative impact your quarry will have on the people of Makutano, thinking instead of your own personal gain, you have behaved immorally and illegally by trying to influence the EIA reports. And this alone is enough for me to rule against you. However, there is something I want you and the people present to listen to. You know how this project means to me? If you let me out, I'll make you worth your wine. Oh, really? Yes. It's 200,000 for you. I'm sure the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission will want to hear this because it is politicians like you who interfere with the wills of justice and the democratic process. You should be ashamed of yourself. 